On this episode of Design Cut Build, I've had a seat from an old Grumman S2F tracker lying around for years, and we're finally gonna put it to good use. So let's get ready to design, cut, and build. another episode of Design Cut Build. On this episode, Iggy and I get to work building a cradle for a really cool old seat that I've had from a Grumman S2F tracker. We knew we wanted a spine running along the back that will hold up the chair, and we wanted it to have an industrial look. We also knew that the chair still had a working lever at the top, and we thought that might work well as the control for a reclining mechanism. As for the legs, we were inspired by those old lunar... You'll see in a little bit. Let's get started. The first thing that we did was cut out a few prototypes for the spine and the brackets that will mount to the bottom of the chair. What is this, one inch? One and a half. One and a half. So this is just holding it in place. The seat itself is going to be Oh, it's going to be ground. sitting on the plates. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not carrying the full load. I got you. So the computer will know where the most efficient grouping is? Yes. Yeah. Nesting? Is that what you call it? Yep. Nesting. Yep, oh. terminology. All right. First cut of the day. Here we go. So, step number two, guys. Now that we're done with the base, we're going to cut out the rest of our sides out of the eighth inch plate on our nested sheet that we did on the computer. So, let's do it. Hey, you're just doing you're just doing four tripods. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, what we're gonna do is the one by one tubing that we're gonna be using for the corners of our base. We don't want it tilted like this. We actually want it tilted at an angle on the corner itself. Our chop saw only cuts pieces regularly flat, so we need to t twist this 45 degrees and then still be able to clamp it. So we got to make a cool little contraption to safely cut square tubing at an angle. We used a rectangle and then two separate M-shaped pieces that would then safely hold our one-by-one -one tubing. At that point, we're then able to cut this without that rotating, so we get a very consistent cut, and we then get a nice flush mount. Okay, so just so you know, I purposely did not take into account what we're using on the bottom of these as feet. I don't know what material we're using yet. What would be really cool is if we can get the bevel head, bevel cut that thing yes. at a half inch. Genius. Uh, huh? Genius. If there's a, a thumb gap here, then the gap will be, even though this gap will be a little wider, the gap idea will be visually. On both sides. Yes, that makes sense. Actually. Other than having a tight V and then a big gap. That makes sense. steps are too big. So you're going out and you're coming right back in over the top. Gotcha. So you're like not moving a lot. Okay. So I just literally just like took a step out and barely went back in. Took a step out, went barely back okay. in. Okay. All right. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so if we wanted to, we could probably start grinding on these. Okay. 
And then once it cools down enough, we can spin it over. All right. Do that. That's not bad. Perfect. Badass. Starting to take shape. That is awesome, Miggy. Really, really cool. So you're not going forward and back. I'm stepping out of the puddle and then just barely coming okay, back. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it, I can barely see that you're coming back. So yeah, you're just, just barely, like, flo just like just floating almost back. Almost looks like you're moving and then holding, moving and then holding, but you're kind of. I'm back just, a little. So I'm only moving like maybe an eighth of an inch yeah. forward. Oh yeah, <laughs> right? Come on. Might have to make this in a couple of passes. I don't want to heat it up too much. Well, let's go see if we can't get that uh, those bottom cups done. Cool. Really, really beautiful work, man. So going with the lunar lander theme, we want to cut these big feet out to go on the bottom of the legs. So Iggy says that we can cut a bevel on the foot, right, with this yep. machine? This machine, the Torchmate 5100, has the option of a full five-axis bevel head up to 50 degrees of bevel to cut oh. our parts on. So that way we don't have to do any prep yeah. work and the machine just does it for us. And precisely, I mean, it's going to be like perfect. Yeah. You got to see this thing running. All right. Awesome, and those feet are gonna look great at the bottom of the chair. And how cool is that to be able to repurpose the top from the welding cart from episode nine? So now we've had our fun at the 5100, it's time to get back and stitch up the rest of the spine. All right, so what we realize is with the lattice design on the side, we can't access the bolt. <laughs> you know, forethought. You need to think of this stuff ahead of time. So it's really easy just to drill a hole in the base so you can get the screw from the inside back and then just put the nut on with a wrench. So. Thumb underneath through a hole. Very nice. It's perfect on this corner. Oh, yeah. So if you get that little tack weld right there in the very top. Like a glove. Yeah. So the next couple things, we're going to need the seat in. So we're going to have to do the bottoms. Oh, yeah. And then we'll do the top. Cool. out, do some welds on the inside, just a little, little bitty stitch welds. All the way to the back, right? Not to the front, to the back? I'd go to the back. Yeah. So the notch piece, well, we, we, there's a couple ways we can do it. We can either machine it out, we can try cutting it with a grinder, or Use we a actually just make this. Cover. I like that idea. Like a piece of 3 16 mm -hmm. and then we just take a piece of 8 inch and put it right on the back of it. We're going to need some cardboard. So we're gonna make it recline with different angles. 
but there's just a slight, there's a one eighth radius here. So we can't make the holes in a straight line. So we're trying to figure out what the distance is gonna be between those holes and the slight arc that they're gonna travel on. Half an inch, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, and then nothing at the very end. All right, so because these are so thick, uh, we're gonna create a little channel in here. So I gotta bevel these because when we weld it, when we weld it, and then grind off the weld, we and have then grind off the weld, it has penetration. So that way you're not just grinding the whole weld off. That way you're not just grinding the whole weld off. See, see how that works? Wow. Well, there you have it, the ultimate chair in the Rat Runner garage. As you can see, it gets along just fine in here. There you go, we designed it, we cut it, and we built it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. To learn more about Lincoln Electric's line of plasma cutting tables, please visit torchmate.com.